Now, first we'll start with the pros and cons of being married. Now, I know you probably convinced yourself, maybe, that uh, your plan is to come to the Philippines, and maybe take your time, find a good woman, and get married. And that's great. Just know what you're getting into. Now, as far as the pros go, when you're married and you got a good woman, and again, this is based on the, the idea that you, you actually found a good woman to be married to. We all know that marrying the wrong woman can just make your life a living hell. You won't even spend time on that. But as far as, let's just say that you do find a really good woman and you're married and everything's just working out great. The pros of that is that, number one, your life will be a lot more stable. You're not going to have the problems and the drama that you get from single life. You know, being married means that you're going to have a routine, you're going to have set meal times, you're going to have a, a social calendar that will involve your wife and your kids, but also her extended family. Filipinos are very much into, you know, just kind of spending time together. And so, you know, overall, I think studies have shown that men who are married actually live longer. The big selling point with marriage is that there's the stability there's the safety, there's the issue of knowing that when you're in a committed relationship, well, now, if you've had a vasectomy, you don't have to worry about condoms, you don't have to worry about STDs, you don't have to worry about any of that. Again, if you're married to a good woman, you can just go at it and life is great. Now, on the downside, cons about being married, and again, we're just looking at this dependent upon what you want, so I'm just going to lay it out there and you decide what you want. The downside of being married is, of course, with stability comes lack of freedom. You're not going to be able to just, and this applies much to having a live-in girlfriend as well, so you can kind of lump these two together. When you got a live-in girlfriend or you're married, essentially your family, your wife, that is your life. So you can pretty much kind of say goodbye to any ideas of just being mobile, picking up, going, doing what you want, when you want. Even on, on the small scale, you know, let's say you just felt like, uh, you just felt like jumping on your bike at one in the morning and taking a ride around town. It's, it's really nice to take night rides up here in uh, the Philippines. You know, but even on a bigger scale, let's say you, you just got this curiosity and you want to go out and you want to see uh, Vietnam, you want to see Thailand, you want to go spend a month there or something. Well, now you're not going to just go by yourself. You're going to take the whole family. At the very minimum, you're going to take your wife. Now, traveling with your wife, yeah, that can be a great thing. It's a whole different dynamic, though, than traveling as a single guy. When you travel as a single guy, if you go to another country, uh, Thailand, whatever, and you see a pretty girl, you can go talk to her and maybe go out with her that night and maybe have her overnight. Maybe even she becomes your new girlfriend. When you're married, you're pretty much going to say goodbye to that. You know, you're going to take your wife along. You know, your main concern is going to be that she's safe, that she's entertained. It means that, again, if you wanted to, if you see something interesting, uh, let's say it could be a festival going on or anything, if she's tired, if she's bloated, if she's hungry, if she has to go to the bathroom, you're not going to get to stay and check out that festival for very long. Same thing if you run into interesting people. You might find it interesting, she'll find it boring. Again, she's more thinking that you're going to have a really neat little honeymoon kind of thing, just the two of you. So when you travel, essentially, when you're married, a lot of this stuff, with the security, with the stability, yeah, you, you, you're kind of losing and giving up on your freedom. Now, when you're single, we'll talk about, eh, we'll start with the positives. The positive end of being single is, again, you get to do what you want, when you want, where you want, how you want, with who you want any time of day or night. You're basically on your own recon. If you decide to take a day trip to another island and just goof off and then you get there and you meet some really cool people or you meet a girl or whatever, you decide, ah, you're going to stay two, three more days. You have that option and you have nobody to answer to. Nobody that's going to say, hey, uh, when are you getting back? And hey, why are you talking to some girl and all that? When you're not in a relationship and you're just single, you can pretty much fly by the seat of your pants. And I'm telling you, it's a great selling point. I, I love it. I mean, I love having the flexibility, even on a daily basis. I get up in the morning, let's say my only errand is I got to go get groceries. Well, I may go to town and before I get groceries, eh, I might catch a movie. I might get a massage. 
you can get a massage in the Philippines for like 250 pesos, which is about five five bucks. So, you know, next thing you know, you're getting a massage, you're talking to the massage girl, maybe you go out with her that night, you know, maybe you get groceries the next day. You can pretty much, as a single guy, make up the plan as you want, when you want, just do it as you feel. So there's, there's a big selling point, it's basically your freedom. Same thing with your money. You spend your money how you want, when you want, you are your own priority. Now the downside, of course, the downside is that you don't have the stability of a, a committed relationship. You're going to be meeting girls here, meeting girls there, and what's going to end up happening is, eh, you know, some of these girls, maybe they've been around. You know, now, now every time you have sex, you got to use a condom, at least you should. And, you know, things happen, condoms slip off, or heat of the moment, you forgot to take one, whatever. And next thing you know, you're going down to the doctor and, you know, you, you, need, you need treatment for an STD. Even worse, if you haven't had a vasectomy yet, then you go out, you play around, whatever. You meet a girl who, eh, you know, she's okay for the night. She, she's not the woman you would want to marry. But then you find out two weeks, three weeks, a month later, she's pregnant. Well, now, now your, whole, your whole game plan in life just changed, all because of one night. So the downside is, even though you have more freedom, you also are a bit more susceptible. You're open to this unplanned pregnancy thing. You're, you're open to catching an STD from somebody. You're open to the idea that you meet a girl, and again, this happens here in the Philippines all the time. I'm sure it happens in every country. But you meet a girl, and you say, hey, what's your name, da-da-da, you know, are you single, yeah, single. And you go out, and you spend a couple nights together, and hang out, and everything's great. Well, then you find out a week later, she's got, like, a really pissed-off boyfriend or husband. And now he wants to know everything about you and where to find you. So that's the kind of drama you don't deal with when you're in a committed relationship when you're married. So being a single guy and being what they call, you know, playboy, chick's boy, butterfly, whatever you want to call it, it comes with certain risks. So my recommendation is if you really plan on hard and heavy being a playboy, chick's boy, whatever, be ready to pack and move in 15 minutes. If things go south, things get weird, you want to be able to pick up, pack your things quickly, get on a ferry and go to another island. That's really the easiest way to solve the, most of these problems. Staying in the same location means they're eventually going to find out where you live, or they're going to run into you in town. They're going to see you before they see you see them. Things just get sticky. There's the pros and cons to being married and being single. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.